Again, this is the very last lap. White flag, lap at the Glen. Here comes Tony Stewart for the lead. Tony Stewart all alone to the high side of the racetrack. He swings by Matt Kenseth and grabs the race lead. It's going to be Doug Bilson Kincaid driving down to the bottom, grabbing the lead off turn number two. Power move for Nelson BK. He goes to the lead. Three wide for Bush, Kyle Bush up the middle and almost trouble in the corner. Final time up through turns five and six. All guys there, and he punched Bill Newt. Bill Newt has lost the lead in turn number six. Kenseth has the lead by about a car length. Biffle now to the bottom of the racetrack. He bypasses. Well, they both. A great save by Jeff Burton. He had it pointed straight at the wall and gathered it up. The track was very slippery last time. Here comes Keselowski, he gets in to Kyle, Kyle spins in turn two, Keselowski around the outside, he can't get there, tucked right up out of the spoiler, Mark is loose, Legato moves him up out of the groove, and they're side by side now, Danny Hamlin, Hamlin bumps in Edwards, they both fly up the racetrack, a great save by Carl Edwards, the leaders tip going through the slippery racetrack, they're on the back straightaway, and it's Keselowski the leader, Austin Dillon rides in the number three position, they're banging in the back of the pack, sparks are flying, one truck sideways, everybody gets Battle for the win. Here's Ambrose to the inside of Keslowski on the approach to the inner loop. Keslowski with a fire rub. Here they come. Keslowski slides wide. He's in the grass. Ambrose is in the grass. Stenhouse is there. Stenhouse gets into the back of him. Around goes Stenhouse and into the Arco. Tony Stewart's going to try to do this all by himself. He's got no drafting help. Matt Kenton now goes up the banking. Greg Biffle's with him. Greg is going to go around. He makes a tremendous save. Contact is made. Ambrose up the racetrack. Here comes Kazlowski down to the inside. They're side by side. Joey Logano goes all the way up against the safer barrier. Now they're crashing. Four wide, and now they begin crashing further back. They are five. They are six wide. And now they get turned just a lot. They get started the inside of the racetrack. Now here's Matt Crafton, Rick Crawford, the entire back of the pack explodes here in Talladega. Now, Austin Dillon. Trouble oh. back straight away, Johanna Long gets turned, head on, into the inside retaining wall. They're rooting Gadget for their back, and then there's trouble, Danica Patrick, down to the inside, hard into the inside wall. Well, trouble in turn two, Casey Mears gets turned, right rear tire goes down, he spins, somehow manages to avoid the outside retaining wall, now dozes into the safer barrier. Oh, he clips Trevor Bain on his way back down. PK slips, coming off turn number one. Oh, Bodine gets turned hard into the inside wall. Hard contact for Todd Bodine. The oh, point. trouble off turn number four. Bobby Labonte right in front of the race leaders. Mark Martin goes around, and Casey Kane goes around as well off turn number four. Mark Martin tags the inside wall and hits hard at the entrance to the garage. Hamlin's got the bottom of the racetrack. He drives to the inside of Kurt Busch. They bang on each other between one and two. Here they come off turn number two. Drag racing. Matt tries the outside, and he may make a go of it. Johnson sideways. He hits Kenza. They both spin. They're into the outside wall. Both drivers try to gather it up. Kenza gets T-boned by Denny Hamlin. Everybody scrambles. Four wide as everybody now wrestling for real estate. Clint Boyer gets pushed up into the apron. He comes back onto the racetrack. Big trouble. Here's Paulie Haraka. Ron Hornaday Jr. into the outside wall. Others are collected. West Burton gets some. Time is precious at Daytona. Stewart leads. Kyle Bush second. Jeff Gordon for third. And they're side by side for four. Bush from the block. Look out of swap to the bottom. Front four. Oh, trouble in turn of Elias Sattler gets turned into the outside wall. A couple of cars tearing it up. And now it's a mass crash into the outside wall. In turn one. Kenseth goes to the outside. He wants to challenge. They're three wide behind them. They're four wide further back. Everybody four wide led by Tony Stewart. Trouble turn two. Joey Lega gets turned by Marcus Ambrose. He takes Dale Jr. into the wall. Matt Kenseth head on into the fence. Four wide and leaning on each other up the back straightaway for the final time here at Talladega. It's outside. You've got Kurt Busch. Now we got trouble. Kyle Busch goes around. Jeff Gordon is in the fence. Kyle Busch saves it. Jeff Gordon now on his side as he slams the outside retaining wall over the DuPont Chevrolet goes of Jeff Gordon. Halfway down the back straightaway. Half a lap to go. Here's Kyle Gale for the lead off two. Larson to the inside of Dillon. They both crash in turn number four. Kurt and Kyle Lee, but under fire from Pagano and Bain in three. Hamlin down low. Bush top of the racetrack. They are nose to nose as they head for the checkers. Tony Stewart is there in the lead. Matt Tenseth behind him in second. Kevin Harvick in third. Four wide through the rest of the field in three. Here comes Joey Logano, Trevor Bain. Now the Bush brothers break apart. Side by side for the lead and the win at Homestead. And they are crashing into the start-finish line. 
Danica Patrick is hit. Ryan Newman is involved. Here they come. Back to the start and finish line. Sliding sideways. Side by side for the lead and the win on turn four at Homestead. Here comes Tom Mark Martin working out. Kevin Harvick is spun. He crashes. Kevin Harvick is upside down. Matt Kenseth gets away with the race lead. Here comes Tony Stewart rim riding. They crash. Logano goes around. The leaders, everybody in the fence. Stenhouse is involved. One car escapes and is headed towards the straight. Coming to the checkered flag with about another six-car pileup in the corner at the line. Let's see, they score James Busher, the race winner. He picked his way through the melee of cars that crashed in turn number four. And James Busher is going to be the winner of the drive for COPD 300.